Hi guys, you are welcome to my YouTube channel and I am your own host, Yusuf Toblova and you are welcome to Just Original. Uh, for quite some time now, I've been unable to you know, come on social media, you know, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp and here on YouTube you know, to interact with my friends and my followers. You know, it's basically because I've been so, so sick that for the past five days now I've not been myself and I can categorically say that uh, probably today is uh, one of the days in the last five to six days that I've been able to you know enjoy myself. Uh, I was diagnosed of respiratory tract infection, so and it got really really bad. The the whole thing really affected me a lot, and I got to the hospital and um, well, I ran series of tests. I got drugs, injections, and so. For the past close to about a week now, I've not been myself. Even though before the sickness got really worse, you know, I've been feeling this kind of you know weakness, loss of appetite, and but I thought it was just normal. So not until about um, I think it was last week Friday, yeah, not until last week Friday, when it all got worse, then I had to you know go to the hospital, but. Thankfully, I am here, and uh, thanks to those who reached out, those who called, those who sent messages, you know, thank you so very much. You guys are the real MVP. But here we are, but I'm not fully better though. I'm just recovering and just thought of, you know, just coming on here and, you know, sharing <laughs> something with you guys. So, uh, today we'll be discussing about um, first date questions. Yeah, first date questions. What are those questions that you ask on the first date and stuff like that? Funny enough, we might be, you know, taking some hilarious, you know, first date questions and mostly some serious ones. So, first date questions: What would you like to be asked on the first date? What would you like not to be asked on a first date? Or do you, are you even the kind of person that don't even subscribe to first date questions? So we will get to know after this very short break. Please stay tuned. <laughs> Okay guys, you're welcome back from that very short break. And um, earlier on, I said we'll be discussing about um, first date questions. And I did a little bit of research and I discovered that some of some of us, some of we youths, you know, guys and ladies, don't really subscribe to first date questions. Yeah, and I was surprised to you know, we hear that, I was like, wow. Then I just concluded within me that, okay, probably if relationship is not, or if it's just a fling, if relationship is not as serious as, as you know, a relationship should be, then I think we can overlook the first date questions. Let's see if you are just in for a fling and just for, you know, then, okay, we can overlook that. But if you are really, uh, going into a very serious relationship. So I think the first date question actually gives you the insight into the kind of person you are moving out with or the kind of person you are about to get into. You know, it shows you it's, it shows you the green the green flag, the red flags and you know something just to work with before you decide okay, do I really want to do this with this person? Do I really want to go into this with this person because Without the first date questions, you will be left with a lot of surprises. Yes, I said it. You will be left with a lot of surprises. First date questions actually, you know, opens the floor for a whole lot of conversations to come in. So, I think I'll give you two advantages of first date questions now. I might be of help though. So, if you have any dates, just listen attentively. So, I think the number one question I'll be asking is, what do you do to unwind? So, like, Sorry. So like I was saying, what I would love to inquire, what you know, my date does to unwind. Yeah, I think it's a very important question because I would love to know what you do when you are not working. I would love to know what you do when you are less busy. It gives me an insight of what kind of person you are 
okay if you tell me okay what do you do to unwind okay after the day's work you go to the gym to work out you know just to relieve yourself of the stress and everything then i have a kind of picture in my mind of the kind of person you are or a kind of person you are probably going to be you know then probably okay an athletic person a person that is motivated you know i have a picture i have something i'm working with or me as a lady if you tell me okay you take alcoholic wine to, un to unwind and stuff like that to relax then i know i can picture the kind of person you are okay probably you are a socialite probably you like going to parties probably you like you know so first day questions actually gives us it actually keeps us open to a lot of options of the kind of person we are going out with so the number one question i'll be asking just like i said earlier is what do you do to unwind well personally what i do to unwind what do i even do self okay uh, straight up to number two the second question i'd like to ask or will be asking if i was on a date will be what triggers your anger yes what triggers your anger i know some people might feel it's too early it's too quick to ask that kind of awkward question but i feel the earlier the better it doesn't hurt anyone and um you know the kind of atmosphere on a date is everybody acting being nice everybody acting perfect you know acting like a gentleman the lady too you know smiling just with the side of her cheek you know, everything going and whereas that's not the reality yes no matter how how good you are you definitely have a bad side so i would love to explore those bad sides right there in the spot i know probably this might not this might not bring out the real person probably if the person is worse the person might just lower you know but i feel it gives you an insight anyway if you're a very very sensitive person and with first the questions it comes with sensitivity you know you should know when as you should have an idea when he or she is lying yes because there are a lot of lies you know going on there so the second question i'll be asking is what triggers your anger yeah because i need to know what triggers your anger when you're angry what do you do please if it's a red flag just just tell me straight this is what i do i throw knife when i'm angry i'll just generally pay for the food and drink and i'll just pack my phones and my wallet i beg straight up i'm going back to my house because i don't anything has to do with stress anything has to do with no, 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 no so i need to know how you deal with anger i need to know what you do when you're in that awkward situation when that that little wire in your brain touch please let me know what you do so that i will not go and be buying black black market and at the end of the day i will not be surprised that oh my, what kind of shit have i gotten myself into I hope you understand so that is the second question i'll be asking on a first date yes what triggers your anger or what do you do when you're angry well someone like me who actually triggers my anger is you know where you are where you are when you're taking me for granted yep i hate it when being taken for granted i scott i can't stand it and what do i do when i'm angry well most of the time before i used to like i used to vet out my anger with words and i might end up saying what I might actually regret so but now I've you know trained myself to you know be above that and what I do now is just I just keep mute I just keep quiet so even when you are trying to come to me you are trying to please just 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 stay I'm not the kind of person that is actually physical when I'm angry so I just love my space when I'm angry just leave me alone let me just I might just you know bring up my airpod plug it in and just listen to music and just to change my mood for that moment so that is what i do when i'm angry so i would love to know what you do when you're angry or what triggers your anger so, okay the third question i'll be asking on a date on the first date is do you like to work alone or do you like to work as a team my questions might be a little bit awkward but well that is me and that is why we are different so, so the third question i'll be asking is do you like to work alone or you work or like to work as a team yeah why am i asking this i'm asking this because it gives me an insight to understanding if this person can work 
hand in hand, even if it later leads to marriage, and that is the goal of every serious relationship. The goal of every serious relationship is to lead to marriage. And if you're talking about marriage, you're talking about working together, you're talking about working as a team. So now, if you're having someone as your, as your wife to be, or someone you're in a relationship with and cannot work with you hand in hand, cannot work as a team, I think there will be a problem. Personally, I love to work as a team, yeah. I love to work as a team because it relieves the stress, yes, and um, it brings division of labor. Everybody is specialized in a particular kind of thing, so it brings out your your innate skill. So you know, rather than working alone, working alone, well, when working alone, you have the full control, though. That is one of the advantages. You have the full control of, of things around you, but it's more stressful and more time consuming yes than you know, working as a team so personally i would love someone that 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 works as a team someone that works as a unit okay the last question i'll be asking on a first date will be what brightens up your day yeah what brightens up your day i think i believe everybody will understand the reason why we're asking this question like what brightens up your day definitely if i'm going to make you happy or if it will lead to us dating having a relationship then definitely i should be able to know what turns you on like just like i asked earlier what makes you angry you know what triggers your anger so i should be able to ask what makes you happy that is why I'm, i will be asking this question and i think it's very important to know what will make your date happy because in every relationship too, if you are not making each other happy, then I think, why are you in that relationship? So, it is very, very uh, important to understand the basics of the person you are going out with, what actually makes he or she happy. Yes, it's very important. Yeah. I just be little things. Little things like just, just, getting, just getting her a gift, being sensitive to his needs, it might just be little little things like that so i think it's very important to know so if it later leads to the both of you dating or having a relationship then you know where to focus your energy to you understand you know where to focus your energy to just like you asking what triggers his anger so definitely if he knows that okay if it's dirtiness that actually triggers his anger like he doesn't love to see anywhere dirty he doesn't love to see you know clothes hanged around shoes scattered all around then you know that this kind of person is a kind of person that is like crystal clean, doesn't like dirtiness. So if you are in a relationship with that kind of person, you know those things to watch out for. So I think we have an insight into you know this first date question of of a thing. So I think I think if it's actually something that is within your power, something that wouldn't hurt you, something that you can do, then I feel you can just go all the way out to make your partner happy. So. With this, we come to the end of this video, and I think you um, picked one or two things from this. So until I come your way next time, in my next video, yeah, probably I should be dropping another video before the end of this year, yeah, as everything goes. And um, so apologies if in one part of the video I've been sneezing or coughing. Please apologies. Just like I said earlier, I'm just recovering, and I still have like loads of drugs to use. So, so probably before the end of the week i should get better and um thank you so very much for staying with me up to this extent so i'll see you on my next video thank you